the next comic coming to the stage. He's an outer towner. He comes from Washington, D.C. Please give it up for my best new friend, Mr. Tyler Sonnetson! Thanks. We're not really friends. Just for the record, I don't know who the hell he is. I think he's interested in me sexually, but that's okay. We're all open-minded here. It's true, I'm from Washington, D.C. We got any people from the Mid-Atlantic, D.C. area, Maryland here? Okay, no, that's cool. Fuck those people. That's why I'm down here. I was thinking, I was up in D.C. a couple days ago, I'm thinking, okay, where can I go for vacation? Where can I witness possibly a love triangle between a man, a dog, and a fire hydrant? Bourbon Street. Got it. That scene's sponsored by Abita. <laughs> Perfect. No, you gotta drink though, man, in places like this. You gotta support the establishment. Where are my drinkers at? Hold your drinks up for me, all right? I like your spirit, sir. I like your enthusiasm. Now, here's, my, here's the thing about drinking. I haven't been out of college for that long. I'm still kind of young, but I miss being in college because when you're in school, you can do whatever stupid shit you want that involves alcohol, and it's completely excusable. Like, you can do whatever dumb shit, and they're like, oh, it's, he's in college, just let it slide. When you're older, that doesn't really apply. Like, when you're in college, you can, be, you can do drinking games. Like, you guys know drinking games, like watch a really shitty movie, like an old, like, B-movie, a horror film. Every time a zombie gets his head blown off, you take a drink. Every time, like, someone says a horrible one-liner, you take a drink. I think when you're an adult, you should play more, like, adult drinking games. Like, every time you come home from a dead-end job you fucking hate but can't quit, you take a drink. <laughs> Every time, every time your dumbass kid repeats the third grade, you take a drink. After about like 10 years of playing this game, it's not really a game as much as it is alcoholism. But it's cool because you're a winner. Woo! In one respect. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, we'll talk after the show. <laughs> Alright, I gotta make a couple statements. I got a good crowd here tonight. You guys seem pretty cool. I gotta throw these things out there, a couple opinions of mine. I believe that marijuana should be legal. Can I get a clap for that? <laughs> I also believe that Denny's and Waffle House should only be allowed to shoot footage for their commercials between 3 and 6 a.m. Yeah. But then you see truth in advertising. You don't see a happy, smiling family. You see a waitress with an eye patch and a hook for a hand. Yeah. She looks like she just walked out of a Tom Waits song or some shit like that. Yeah. Like a pirate health insurance commercial. She's serving a plate full of pancakes to a table full of 65-year-old trannies. They don't even know they're at Waffle House. You see a couple of retarded kids in a booth by the window playing a game of Connect One. Woo! That's what you see. I believe the tambourine, it's a musical place, you guys know the tambourine? I believe that the tambourine, the instrument that tambourine should be renamed the I WANNA PLAY TOO! <laughs> Sorry people in the back, I WANNA PLAY TOO! That's what the tambourine should be, never mind. <laughs> I love, excuse me, I love New Orleans, I love your city very much. I love the streetcars you guys have. See, in D.C. we have the Metro, which sucks complete ass, like... Yeah. Yeah, you've been to D.C., the Metro is a pain, like... You know, it's not even, you know, it, it's... Okay, I'm getting, a, getting ahead of myself here. But see, the thing about Metro is that they're really arrogant because they know they're the only game in town. They actually say at the end of a ride, they like completely discharge a car, kick everyone off of it. This has happened to me before. And they say, thank you for choosing Metro. Thank you for choosing Metro. I'm sorry, Metro. I wasn't aware you had so much competition. What below ground rail system do I have to choose from? It's like the big Metro car pulls away and then there's like a, like a homeless dude on one of those, oh brother, where are that would push cards that comes walking up. I charge you a nickel. And some company. You start weighing your options. You know, you save a dollar twenty by going with one-eyed Zeke, but you know, the car is so safe and you're probably not gonna get gangrene from the guy's beard. <laughs> about weighing options. You guys have a friend, you guys have that friend who like always throws out random pieces of trivia just to show how smart they are. But it's kind of it's kind of suspect when it becomes increasingly evident that uh, they learned all that trivia accidentally while trying to search for porn on the internet. <laughs> Do you guys know that it's illegal to cross the street walking backwards? 
in Ejaculation, Tennessee. I didn't know there was a town called Ejaculation, Tennessee. The MC wanted me to do a joke that involved ejaculation, so I don't know. It's my excuse. All right, like I said, I noticed, like, I saw some great posters backstage, like, you know, the Twilight Singers have played here, fucking great bands. I'm a really big music nerd myself. I don't know how many of you are, like, big music nuts. I've always, I've always been, like, um, this is, I've always been really reverent for Prince. You guys like Prince? Yeah! No, Prince is the man, because, like, like I said, he can do any shit he wants to and get away with it because he's Prince. Yeah. Like, he can do whatever, like, he can, it's like, why the hell is he humping that bed? He's Prince. My Uncle Elmer humped a bed one time, and he's in jail right now. That's because he's not Prince. That's his fault. It's his fault for not being born Prince Rogers Nelson. No, I love Prince because like he can do whatever shit he wants to. He changed his name to a symbol. He changed his name to a symbol for like 1992 until like 2001 or whenever he wanted to start making money again. It's like he changed his name to a symbol. I think we should have thrown it back in his face. Do you know? I love Prince, but I think that instead of like calling him the artist, the artist formerly known as Prince. We should have just referred to him instead of the symbol as one of those noises he makes on stage. I just want to see, seriously, I just want to see the entertainment reporter just on the weekend news be like, coming this weekend to the Nissan Pavilion, R&B legend, uh, <laughs> Better pick up your tickets right now for, oh, look, because boop is going to sell out, and you know it. All right, my name has been Tyler Sonics, and come to D.C., you guys are all awesome. Thank you so much.